I forget. And I, I don't know how he challenges you about it, but he goes, uh, oh, you want to go or something like that? It's some, some fucking thing. And you go, hey, listen, man, like no joking, right? You go, listen. All these jokes aside. All the jokes aside. I will fuck you up. Yo, what's up, Square Pimp again on this episode? It's just me and Harry breaking it down. An incident that happened with a drunk heckler at the comedy show. Um, and how and why we need to be more blunt and honest. And how the principles that we're talking about on a day-to-day -day basis works in every situation. Pretty dope. I mean, always like yeah, hanging on. It we're gives talking. the insight of me and Harry just kicking it on the phone. Yeah, and it, it also breaks down, you know, what lessons that and the same methodology that we use to deal with hecklers that you use to deal with relationships and why it's all the same. But we also do uh, over at Patreon, patreon.com, where we do the bonus episodes. Uh, that's where all the extra content is. Come over there and support us on patreon.com because it helps keep the show going. Um, when we go over there, we actually do bonus content like listener mail today and uh, some of the questions that we answer about listener mail. Uh, if a girl with a boyfriend will hit on you, will, will a girl with a boyfriend still hit on you? Uh, how can you learn multiple skills at once? Do you have any advice for new couples? And uh, does occupation matter when you're dealing with women? Uh, all that stuff. Plus, uh, Dante and I do consult relationship consultations. If you're in need of any type of relationship advice, you can hit me up at uh, advicefromharry at gmail.com. That's where I do all my uh, relationship consultations and uh if you want to hit dante up dante where can they find you dante nero.com click on consult you can get at me um whatever we can fix whatever you need to fix uh love y'all we are in i guess yeah enjoy the show guys i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man well, put your happiness first because if you don't they won't Yo, 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 what's up, Square Pimp Brigade? GYBB gets your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Um, today is just the family in the building. Um, I uh, We're going to do some listener mail and give back to the people that keep listening to us. Um, Harry, first, most, first and most important, how are you feeling? How you uh, I'm doing amazing, especially after this weekend. Uh, we had we had a good weekend, and then we had some good shows Friday. We did a show Friday at Stand Up New York. Someone almost got their ass kicked again. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I already forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's a long you weekend. Remember. You want to tell the story? Or you I mean, I could tell it up. You know, listen, this is the benefit of coming out to see uh, Dante live, because we had a couple people who came to see Dante uh, live. Shout out to uh, Major. Shout out to Major came out. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Kelly came out, him and his girl. Um Yeah, and they so. almost they almost got to witness a beatdown that happened uh live in progress. The dude was uh just I don't know if he was drunk, whatever you want to call it. He's he fucked drunk. up. He, he start I started out the show, right? I started the show off and we I already knew there was trouble. So I was trying to handle him up front and I'm trying to keep it light and keep the laughs going and whatever and I you know, I balanced it a little bit. I got them a little bit, but they didn't stop talking. Right. So right. the host comes and it up. Was wild. Let's be honest. It was wild from the very beginning. From the second I got on stage, it was wild. Late night show. Yeah. It was a bit unruly. Um, and I'm trying. Unruly. I'm trying as the first guy up not to not to fuck it up for everyone, not to blow it up, because it's, it's just I mean, literally, I'm the first guy up. And so it's, you know, I'm trying to balance it. I'm, I'm shutting this guy down a little bit. I'm making fun of him, blah, blah, blah. And it works for a little while. And he keeps ramping back up. Then we tell him to shut the fuck up. The host tells him to shut the fuck up. Then uh, the, the, unfortunately, he had some newer comics. They made a couple rookie mistakes. They kept referring back to the guy. Right. And, he, you know, one guy goes, this is the, and this is classic Dante. One comic goes, listen, you could talk through my set. And uh, but you can't be talking through the whole. And Dante, this Dante goes, no, I can't. No, he can't. He's not going to be talking through anybody's set. Well, you you got to explain that. You got to explain the concepts because as much as this is just us talking about comedy, it's not. No, really there's a about bigger comedy. lesson here. Yeah, there's a bigger lesson. It's really not about comedy. So the guy, the guy that came. Uh, you remember the guy's name? Uh, like he was a good dude. Um, Asian dude from Houston, comic from Houston. I forget his name. I forgot what his name is. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, uh, I, I don't remember what his name is. Kim would know what his name is. Man, um, I'll, I'll text her and see. Yeah. But 
the the guy goes on stage and you know he's trying to deal with it and he talks to the guy and then uh and then he's like yeah man you know you could talk to my shit but don't talk to and dante you know he's a, he's a young kid he doesn't know exactly what he's doing and dante goes no 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 you can't do that you can't allow him to talk while while we're performing while anyone's performing this guy doesn't get to talk right so we sh- we shut him up for a little bit the host talks to him well first first the host tells him look you're talking too much Right. You keep right. talking, you're going to get put out. And he goes, who's going to put me out? And I yell out, me, I'm going to put you out. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that part. Right. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. The first time. You're not even on and stage. He, you're just hanging out, waiting to go up. I'm sitting on He has no idea that I'm a comic. Uh, he a comic or whatever. Uh, you know, so yeah. I'm already like. Yeah. So he's, he kind of looked over to me and then he kind of ignored it and kind of came back or something something he did uh, whatever you know? he eventually shut up for a little bit because i think suarez went over and talked to him the host of the show yeah they continue the show and people start you know referring back to him a little bit which they shouldn't have done but they're younger comics they don't know any better and the even time, if they did yeah you know what i mean he had already he's started. an asshole he's an asshole without a doubt a fucking first class asshole uh, who wanted uh, who, who whatever also, he, he admitted that he hadn't been laid in eight years. Yeah, I got to that topic when I spoke <laughs> with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I did do the thing of like, hey, man, what's so I tried to talk to him to try. It's another way of trying to disarm somebody who's yapping. You talk to him for a little bit and then I break Liam, their balls. His name was Liam. Liam. Very Asian, funny yeah. comic. Yeah. And uh, so that's another way I was trying to disarm the guy. Right. I was trying to disarm because what I like to do is talk to people and inevitably they will say something stupid. And he did because he goes, you know, uh, I go, you with somebody right now? You're in a relationship? He goes, no, I'm, I'm single. I go, oh, that's a shocker. That's a shocker, mm. bro. And I go, how long have you been single? He goes, eight years. I mm. go, oh, yeah, because he was a finance guy. I go, oh, yeah. Well, you know, listen, it's a, you got a lot of numbers to crunch, man. You got a lot of numbers. Nice. You get lost. And then eight years go by. Then he, you know, chimed in again after I mentioned some other numbers. I go, listen, bro, you only seem to chime in. You only seem to be engaged when I mention numbers because you're a finance guy. Mm-hmm. I go, let me put it to you in a way you could fucking understand this. And I go, you talk too much. And I hold up two fingers to him. Mm-hmm. Crowd laughs. They enjoy that. I go, I'm the only one with a microphone. So shut the fuck up before somebody kicks you out of here. Right. Right. And that works for a little bit. It works for a little bit. You know, he's embarrassed. He shuts the fuck up. But by the time you get up there, I guess he had developed yeah, some is, more courage. This is ten, like two, ten comics yeah. later, eight comics later. He ha- he's, uh, you know, he's 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 got his strong. beer muscles he's back. Fall, he's fallen. He's fallen asleep and he's woken up and, you know, he's rad, whatever. And um, they're talking again. And I'm already like one of the things about this that let me let me give the prerequisite of this. I hate that. I, anybody that comes to a comedy show and you think you're doing somebody a favor by talking to them, you are not. Nobody has done this show, uh, wrote their material and wants to fuck with you, wants to talk. You don't help the show. You don't make it better. What you do is you make the comics work harder to take the bullshit that you say and then have to craft it into something that's creative and funny. And then you walk around and the most comics, you know, hecklers will be like, yo, I help the show. I, I you all should pay me. No, you're just a fucking idiot because we would do this show without you. Nobody gives a fuck about what you have to say. Nobody's paying you yeah. to talk. So you're just disruptive. But- and. It's disrespectful because we've all made a lot of sacrifices in order to do this craft craft and for somebody to jump in and just think it's it's just disrespectful for what for for what we do. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. So Nobody I'm already kind of yeah. angry. I'm rub you know, my feather my feathers is ruffled from the first comic that this guy's literally coming from outside right. and he's already and he's disrupting and there's another table. On the left, one on the right, and there's one to talk in, and just the other table was kind of like had never been to a comedy show before, and just didn't understand. They were just uber excited. They were over excited, which is and, tough and to deal with. Didn't, which is still unacceptable. Yeah. Shut up! Right. Like why would yeah, you? Yeah. 
what would you think if you if you whatever you were doing if whatever you do in life that you think is important for you to go and think that you can just interrupt that i mean you wouldn't do it at opera you know you wouldn't do you don't do it like anywhere yeah. else there's no other aspect of show business where the audience wants to get involved they so, just yeah harry goes up and he's trying to deal with them but i already know this is a, this is going to be a shit show and yeah cuz if it's starting like that and and getting better. and I can handle it, whatever I can. You know, I did an OK job with it. There's things I would have done differently, but I can at least navigate it and make it so that it's there's jokes and I'm making fun of the fucking guy. But some but people don't have that ability. Yeah. Is, and this is the other thing is why we talking about this is, you know, even with all the experience that Harry has, yeah. and all the times that we've talked about this in hindsight, what you did was you didn't have the argument. I did we, not. Yeah, I regret we that. say this yeah. over and over again yeah. in the relationship. If something is coming up, it has to be dealt with. If you, if you, if you, and this is why the stuff that we, this is why the stuff that I, you know, I'm talking about and I'm teaching on this thing is because, because it, it's applicable to everything. Somebody who's disrespectful, what they're, they're, they're the, if they're not uh, put it like this, if they are not disrespectful or the intention is not to be disrespectful, when you check them and go, hey, look, dude, you're being disrespectful. The response. Ninety nine percent of the time is like, oh, man, I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't know I didn't mean, you know, if the intention is sure, yeah, that yeah. In the first place, if the intention is to continue on then basically what's the subtext of what they're saying is fuck you. Yeah. Or they don't believe you. You're telling them to shut up and they don't believe you, which is really in a sense is still an extension of fuck you. That disrespect for sure. I'm the comedian. Yeah. This is my domain. This is what I do. And you're still saying, yeah, I don't, I don't give a fuck about what you do. You don't know. I know better than you. Right. Um, what's interesting about that is so like, I and I, we've talked about this a lot of times, how Harry's a nice guy. He's a good guy. Sure, yeah. And guy, and good guys always have the tendency for being good guys. And I've been saying this to Harry easily, maybe 15, 14 years. Like you're too nice. You can't yeah. be nice. Yeah. You, and he, and in a lot of ways you've changed that. You don't put up, but you still, you still, I still your, try to find the nice way out, but there's not, which a, is, but, there is not, and, and, there is and not. And is, I told you that after the thing, I go, yeah, I didn't handle that the way I wanted to. I, I did all right. And I was fine, but I could have, I should have gone into his ass more and just been like, and, and be stop making it a comedy show. And and, yeah. and, and and to be honest, if you had went on him in the first place, I wouldn't have had to go on him an hour and a half later. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think no, the rookies would have fucked it up. At but, him, it, wouldn't have mattered if you if you would have went at him and then he would have went crazy. We'd have put him out. Yeah, if he would have, he would have responded. So I you didn't do. And this is what we do in relationships. Yeah, when we're in relationships and we date people and, and you date people who are disrespectful and you don't say what you don't tell the truth and you don't stand up. You Then you leave this for somebody else, because now not only that, but they're going at it in a more confident way. Because they've got, they've built up courage because they've gone, they've been doing what they've been doing. Like this guy was heckling and talking for an hour and 45 minutes. And the reality is that who, if anybody had stepped, not just you, but if anybody had stepped up and said, listen, this ain't going to fuck, I'm, we're not doing this. Shut the fuck up or get out. Then I wouldn't have had to do it an hour and 45 mm -hmm. minutes later. Because it would have came to a head and the guy would have got put out or whatever, whatever. And then we would have salvaged the show. But the show was shit all day, all night, because he kept heckling and because nobody stood up and gave him the dose that he needed. It's sort of like, you know, it's like when you, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, you know, if you have taken antibiotics and they tell you to take antibiotics for seven days, if you take it for three days, not only do you not get cured, but you feel a little bit better. And now you have created a resistance. The disease or the, the, the virus has created a, a more of a 
a resistance because of the fact that now it is it has become more resistant because it took it got better and then it gets the virus gets stronger. And so this guy, so and I get it, you know, it, it it's harder to be, you know, nobody nice guys don't want to be the bad guy. They don't want to be the bad guy. And even though you know Harry's an experienced dude, knows that he doesn't that he he knows these lessons to slide back on it is to slide back on the same things that the, 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 the mentality of the past. Oh, I'm just going to do this much. Oh, I'm going to see if I can mm. be nice. And then, and, and the thing is it never works that ne- I mean, I, I don't know about you, but Harry, but I don't know that that's ever worked. And I also understand in the context of comedy, you mm. think it's different. Well, I think it, it's uh, it has worked in the past in the sense of you can quiet somebody up by addressing it and making it fun for the room. There's a little bit of a, a thing you have to worry about of going hard and then you don't recover from it. By the time you get up there, it's been the audience is an interesting thing because the audience is, hates this guy by the time you get up there. That's not necessarily the case 30 minutes in uh, 30 seconds in. So it can work in the and I've had it go the opposite where I've gone in hard on somebody too early and it, then it feels uncomfortable. You got it. But you have to learn to live have, in that but, discomfort. But the, yeah. I, yeah. And here's the thing. The, the, fuck the yeah. discomfort. Yeah. Fuck the discomfort. It's discomfort because whether the audience realizes this or not. The fact that they may be discomfort, this come uncomfortable, the fact that you may be uncomfortable. It doesn't matter. It's the right thing to do because this guy, he don't give a fuck. He doesn't. And you had a you had a decent set for what it was, but it was unfair. Not only was it unfair to everybody who was on the show, it was unfair to you. Yeah. Yeah. And correct. so at some point in time where you're trying to salvage this and you but you we're you're you're literally negotiating with terrorists. This dude is a social terrorist. Yeah. And I and the thing is, I don't give a fuck if the crowd. I mean, I've had a I've had a I had a situation with a, a girl that talked and I was like, get the fuck out. And she was like, you I'm saying get the fuck, call the cops, get the fuck. And I don't care. I don't care. Mm. If I don't do my set. I, I'm not going to because I'm not going to allow this type of behavior. You're not going to you're if I'm going to feel uncomfortable. And let's be honest, everybody was uncomfortable. That dude made everybody on that stage uncomfortable. Five, ten, maybe ten comics never gave a fuck. And everybody's tiptoeing, trying to trying to salvage the set. For, but the people didn't have a good time. The set, the setting wasn't a good setting. You didn't have a great time. Everybody after you didn't have a great time. This guy literally sabotage the whole thing so again we talk the principles are universal they always work it never gets better i get it if somebody's heckling and you check them and then they stop or they acknowledge but let i mean i don't i mean i don't know if you think so or not if i'm wrong you tell me was there a time when he stopped uh with, with my set he would quiet down for a minute yeah for a couple Did minutes he yeah stop did he stop? Mm, not then, completely by the I mean, never. I addressed it when he did it. Yeah, yeah. He had yeah. a so he so he, had he would stop and then go back up, which is not stopping. I understand. It's, but you can only. Yeah, you can only no, go by it, what you can go with in that no, in the first can, sample minutes. Go, but if you go, if you go, he didn't stop and then you check him and then he comes back again. Yeah. And how many times do we go? Well, he stopped, but he didn't. But. Oh, I like agree. How- yeah. Yeah. But by that time, I'm I'm done with my set. I'm off the stage. You know, by the time. Yeah, it's a it's a thing you look at. The, you next know, guy, yeah. the next guy yeah. went up and he started That's with correct. the next guy. Yeah. And the guy may have said something. And then he went back again. And so yeah. he never stopped. He never I stopped agree, throughout yeah. the whole night. He didn't stop. And so. And, 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 and so when I got on stage. He said something to me, I said something back. I don't even remember. And I was like, yo, get the fuck out. I'm not doing this. Fuck you. 
whatever. I ha- I even had friends coming to see me, but I'm always willing to. I'm willing to. I'm. I'm I don't mind being the bad guy because I'm not the bad guy. And Correct. the fact that people perceive you as the bad guy or the monster, I don't care about that either because I'm not looking for their acceptance. I don't care if the whole audience thinks that I suck. I don't care if the sh- show goes to shit. I don't because this person, because the responsibility is this person is it's not, it's sort of like somebody robbing a bank and they go, if you don't give me the, the if you don't give me the codes, I'm going to kill you. Or if you don't do me to give me the codes, I'm going to kill her. Right. And then right. the dude kills her. And then you go, how could you let now it's my fault because somebody put a gun to somebody's head who 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 is a secretary. And now it's my responsibility because this dude's a murderer. It's, you feel what I'm saying? It's like the same yeah. thing. It's like if you don't do this, I'm going to kill him. You're still a fucking murderer. So I I um. And one of my one of my good friends was at the show and uh, brought his girl. First time his girl is seeing me. And I'm all of this is in my mind. So as I go up on stage, I go, yo, this is probably not going to end up good. I get, mm. you know, I'm sorry. You let them you know, know up front. I said, as soon as I got up, as soon as they started introducing me, I was like, this is probably not going to be good. Now, the guy who came with me, good friend of mine, Kelly, I've talked about him before um me and him been in plenty of scraps together i know he's got me i've also know that harry's got my back so but so i get into it with the dude go ahead you you tell i get into it with the dude and then well so he's he's for whatever reason he got loud again right before you went up i forgot who did what but he's loud the second you get up right and you go, uh, and and you you go, hey man, you gotta you gotta shut up, you gotta be quiet. And he goes, hey, I'm just giving you guys your content or whatever. The old the that old fucking yeah. chestnut from Heckler, yeah. because people were talking about him again. They were making yeah. reverence. Because I'm giving you guys your go- content, and Dante goes, you ain't giving me shit, <laughs> right? And the guy goes, well, I forget, and I, I don't know how he challenges you about it, but he goes, uh, oh, you want to go? or something like that at some some fucking thing and you go hey listen man like no joking right you go listen all these jokes aside all the jokes aside i will fuck you up right right and he's like you want me to go and then dante is like yeah yeah we all want get you to go out. Get, get the, the fuck, fuck out. out and the crowd cheers as he gets he fucking walks out it was like a wrestling thing where pete where he's just yelling at the audience and they're yelling yeah, back the at heel. him and he fucking makes it out the door. I walk I walk him out the door just to make sure he doesn't punch any of the fucking people up front because he's that type of guy. You know, I don't need be, to, right. I don't want this, him. I didn't even I was like, that's pretty dope that you, you know, even thought yeah. of it like that. But I, I was already heated and I was ready to jump off the stage. Yeah. And get yeah. at him. But you're not an idiot. Like, you know, like if he's not is you. You can beat the fuck out of him, but also if they're you, you're willing to let this fucking walk away because yeah, it's just yeah, easier yeah. in life to just let him fucking or if he's moving. I'm willing to fuck him up, knock him out, jump in my car, and disappear. For sure, three weeks. but that's more effort than just if he's if sure. it's if the problem is being resolved. You will. You're not a guy who is looking to, to create problems. No. Also, yeah. I'm not gonna. Also, I'm not yeah. like. But there's wisdom in that. Yeah, because, just because you can do it doesn't mean you have yeah, to do it. And if he's going and, uh, and but if I'm going to make so this is the interesting thing about a couple of things that, that is interesting about in order for your words to mean something, there has to be action behind them. And if you're saying things and there's no action behind them, then your words mean nothing. Um, And the way people get to the point where you they know that your words have gravity is that always has to be no wiggle room. There's no light between what you say and what you do. I mean, that's how you maintain your credibility. So the minute I go, yo, I'll fuck you up. Right. Mm. In my mind, I know I am committed to this. I'm committed to that. If he doesn't do what I need him to do, he's catching a beating. 
if I get cuffed, if I get arrested, if I get whatever the fuck. Now, I'm going to avoid all of that, too. But I know I'm willing to do this. What's funny is the dude who I've known, my boy that came to see me brought his girl. He knows me. Soon as I say that, he like takes his jacket off. And he this nobody knows he's there. You know what I mean? He's there to see me. And he lets out a sigh like, oh, God, here we go. Which Harry has done. Mm. Play, Many like, times. Uh, Many times. All right. Not, not that they don't understand the dynamic of it. Yeah. But, it's not a, oh, here's Dante fucking up again. It's, it's a. Right. Uh, all right, I guess this has to be what it has to be because somebody doesn't know how to fucking behave. Like, I guess this is it's going to go down. Oh, boy. To be really honest, I was angry. I was also I was not angry, but I was pissed off at the way he treated you, which I don't think it was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, don't, you don't work that club a lot. You yeah. don't work that club a lot. You get an opportunity to work the club and the usually good shows. And then he fucked you. I was like, yo, he's he's fucking my boy set up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And 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 you were trying to give him the bet when it to me it was yeah. obvious. Yeah. There was no benefit. I mean, eh, you know, I've done it in the past where it has worked, but this not, wasn't one of those situations. Not this and guy, not, not this and, level. And the thing yeah. is, if you if you spank a dude. If he's saying blah, 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 you say something to him and he goes, oh, like, oh, you oh, like, because sometimes they don't know the etiquette of comedy. Sure. They yeah, don't yeah. Know you, yeah. And so when there's an acknowledgement of I'm fucking up, but what he did was he didn't acknowledge that he was. Making oh, no, without mistakes. a doubt. Yeah. He didn't apologize. Not only yeah. that, but he did it again. Yeah. And then yeah, he yeah, did yeah. it again. Yeah. And then he did it again. And then he stopped and he did it again. And then he did it again. Throughout so the show, six, yeah. yeah. Six or seven times just during your set. Yeah. He's fucking stirring. So at some point in time, we got to be honest about yeah. what is going yeah. on. Nobody does something. Say, look, maybe once. Maybe yeah, yeah that's twice, a mistake. Yeah. But six or seven times, this is not. Harry didn't do anything wrong. Harry didn't fucking. But you but this guy is just disrespectful. No, without a doubt. Yeah. And so now I'm steaming because he took my boy's set and threw it in the dumpster because he don't give a fuck. He has no respect from no. And then every young comic that went up after that, he did the same. So the guy leaves. Everybody applauds the guy leaving. And then I end up having a, yeah, a great, great set because the guy left. The thing is, so this is relevant how. So when you're in these relationships and when you're having these situations where somebody is disrespectful, look, we are all human beings. We're all raised differently. We all have our different levels of tolerance and not tolerance. There's things that bother me that don't bother somebody else's thing. But the point is there is a, is a point where somebody is overstepped the boundary and when they overstep a boundary, it is your responsibility to make it clear that they've overstepped that boundary. Why is that your, your responsibility? It's your responsibility because what ultimately what you ultimately do is you're telling them that they've overstepped the boundary, which hopefully what we're hoping for is that they Maybe there, I mean, this time, I mean, there's times I've stepped on somebody's foot and not known I stepped on their foot or bumped into them because I'm not paying attention and bumped in. But if somebody goes, hey, you bumped into me, I go, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware. I apologize. I, I, that wasn't my intention. And the acknowledgement of being seen, people being seen and a real apology, a real sincere apology changes. It instantly can change the the dynamic of something. Sure. Yeah, of course. But when you're apologizing so, to somebody and you've humbled yourself and they're going, yeah, you better or fuck you. Right. The next thing mm. is you're saying to me, I'm disrespecting you. I'm aware that I'm disrespecting you. You've made it clear and I don't give a fuck. And so what are we in terms of this relationship, what are we salvaging? And I know you're not trying to, even when you give it, you're giving the guy leeway, you're not trying to salvage your relationship with him. 
What you're trying no. to do is salvage the relationship of the show, of the show and yeah. of everybody else. Right, right, but right. What do we say all the time? What is the, the mantra that we say all the time? Put yourself first. If you don't, they won't. She won't. Yeah. They won't. Whoever won't. And so even the fact that somebody feels as though they can be that disrespectful. Anytime we move away from we move away from the principles that are proven at the at the base level, at the root, a cosmic and universal truth. Anytime we move away from it, anytime we adjust that, anytime we freestyle it, we always end up in a shitty place because this has been proven to be the case. If you're in a relationship and the woman is disrespectful and she's calling you out your name or the guy is disrespectful and he's talking to you abusively or whatever, and you let it go and you don't check it the first time, then what you're saying, the subtext is that this behavior is okay. Yeah, it's tolerated. And if we try to teach you a lesson in code or whatever, like, you know, you're, you're, especially with hecklers, you're, you know, like you're being funny, but you're spanking them and you're letting them know. But if they are, if it's the second time they re-up, like I don't do three strikes. Mm. I'll do one strike. You here's what the boundary is. The second time you do it to me, it tells me a you're aware. B you don't give a fuck. So in what scenario? In how? What scenario? And I know maybe you know I get called. I mean, I, I, people will say. I even have friends of mine say that I go from zero to a hundred, but not really because. I'm looking at the bigger picture when people are not paying attention. So the second time he goes, I'm not, I'm not, we're not making fun of you. We're not, I'm going to stop. I'm like, look, you're being disrespectful. This has to stop. And if it doesn't stop, I'm ready to get the smoke. And we're literally talking about uh, maybe eight different comics who put up with it. Even the guy who said, hey, listen, t- calm down, quiet down. Look, if you want to talk during my set, and I was, and that's when I said, no, no, you're not talking. Yeah. This set. You're not. And that's really where we need to be as, as, as people. We need to not allow this behavior, even when the behavior mm-hmm. benefits us. It's righteous at all costs. And Even though it may be, oh, I don't, let me see, because in a relationship, because here's the thing, I know for a fact, Harry don't put up with none of that in his relationship. That's true. None of it. Very true. Not at all. And even, even sometimes it'll be where you'll be like, wait a minute, such and such and such, and you'll catch it. And you'll even go, yo, remember when you, you'll even go back. But the thing is, the real what I what I realized the real thing is that you you we we get to a point where we don't un, we don't we know what the principles are we know what the rules are and then because it's and don't get me wrong it's a hard path to to follow it's a difficult path that especially when your sensibilities are kindness and 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 generosity and stuff which harry is all of those things mm. you know um the the tendency is that but it's also knowing when somebody don't mean you no good and recognizing that and even if they are not aware of it when you speak up immediately and you say this is not okay i get to say just like they get to say it to you when you're doing something wrong, this this is not okay. For sure, yeah. Um, and and they don't hesitate to say it. And they don't. Nobody. I mean, pe- most of the time. I mean, narcissists and sociopaths. They they're quick to tell you what what's wrong with you. The guy was mad at me because I was yelling back at him. Oh, I was yeah. quiet for after. Uh, yeah, yeah, get the fuck out. Is now I'm not nice to you, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna be nice to you at all. Not only that, but it's mm-hmm. it's is um, but it's like this is this is such a good thing in a situation where the really in terms of relationships, because recognizing that somebody has crossed the boundaries and not giving them the opportunity 
to comply. See, if you if you if you tell them this is inappropriate, I'm not I'm not gonna have you talk to me and you're da- on a date and I'm not gonna have you talk to me like that. Or I'm here to pick you up at eight o'clock and you're an hour or two hours late, hour and a half, half hour late, whatever it is. You it needs to be spoken of. They're like because you're you 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 want to find somebody who wants to make you happy. You're not gonna be you're not gonna be happy with somebody who doesn't genuinely want to make you happy. They gotta like you and they gotta like they gotta they gotta get something out of making you happy. And if you're not telling them how you can be made happy and you're gonna sit there and be quiet, then it's your fault. Um, and if you tell them this this is inappropriate or i don't like when you call me out my name i don't like when you t- talk to me that way i don't know when you talk about this i don't like how you talk to me in front of your friends i don't whatever the fuck it is we got to stop looking at it as i'm doing something to them what you really have to look at it is i'm giving this person an opportunity to escalate their value in the context of my life because if somebody If I tell somebody I don't like when you do this and they instantly apologize, man, I didn't, man, I didn't even recognize the look. I apologize. That wasn't my intention. That gains credibility with me. Especially if I can tell you once and you acknowledge it and then you never do it again. Then not only that, because. because Well, that's where the empathy comes in. You have empathy. Right. You know, we always talk about ace, authenticity, credibility and empathy. That's right? the, that's that's the, the empathy branding. part. That is our branding. That yeah. is what we believe in. And so, but it also doesn't mean, it also means, you know, so some of don't, it, it, I don't say don't take no shit because what I'm saying is the truth of the matter allows you not to take shit. If I, if you are making me uncomfortable, if, if this is an awkward situation, I'm going to be clear. I'm going to say this is an awkward situation. Now, if you don't give a fuck about the awkwardness of the situation, I appreciate the fact that you're being honest about it. You're saying that guy was basically saying, fuck you. I'm going to fuck all of you. Fuck the audience. Fuck the comics. Fuck Mm. the people that got to go up. Fuck everybody. I'm going to do what I want to do that's coming. And I don't care. I don't care that they're telling me to shut up. I don't care that they that the host said it. I don't care that. They made fun of me. I don't, I'm going to make everybody miserable. And at that point in time, you got to go, why am I treating this person with genuine respect when they mean me no respect at all? And that is in relationships. That's on your job. Like you told, I remember you telling me a story about when you used to work at the loading dock and the guy goes, look, eh, yeah. you no, know, not for nothing, but I don't have any problem with you. And you yeah. were like, no, but I got a fucking problem with you. Yeah. What he was trying to do was play it off. We got into this fight in front of everybody. And uh, and everyone's like, oh, it's awkward. Someone goes, oh, it's not awkward. It's fine, man. I got no problem. I go, well, I got a problem. I got a problem with you. I don't care if you don't have a problem. We're not going to pretend that this is OK. And what was his not. response? To- oh, hey, hey, you know, it's everybody's response is 99 percent of the time. It's oh, hey, man, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Like, no, it's not no, fine. It's Let's not talk fine. about it. And we talked about it and we hashed it out. We worked together. I mean, it's somebody we, it was fine. We talked about it, but we didn't pretend that nothing happened because I'm not now, doing did that. He, did he come back again and give you shit like that again? Nah, um, no, I don't. I don't even remember. It was yeah, that shit happens on the work site here and there all the time. I think we hashed it out. But yeah, I'm, we were I'm cool. Saying, yeah. The fact that you were uh, not afraid to make. Yeah, I don't to, recall if, if many incidents. After yeah, I don't that remember. You. Yeah, yeah. I, in fact, yeah, yeah. I remember him. I, if I remember correctly, he avoided you like the plague. Like he still did his dirt. I remember you saying he was doing. Oh, that's a different guy. I laid down. Oh, I laid, yeah, oh, yeah, that was a whole other. <laughs> that was a whole other thing of the summer of the summer of Harry, where I fucked a lot of things up over there for people <laughs> who usually were quiet, but I blew up a lot of spots on a lot of people who were acting like ass, especially uh, especially white corporate dudes who really were nice to you in person and then the asshole via email. You go, oh, okay, all right, you know, how we're gonna oh, do you it? Wanna, you want to play with this? Right, oh, you well, want to play? Gonna, we're going to be an asshole on both on both platforms because yeah. I'm multi-platform. So I'm going to be an asshole via email because I know how to do that. And I'm going to be an asshole in person. 
And that motherfucker avoided me uh, like the fucking plague because I knew how to send a corporate email where I took everyone down with me. That's a fucking <laughs> long story, though. But I know how to do that. They misunderstood who was because they, they like dealing with people. They think you're stupid because you work in a in. Yeah, because in, you're not in the, the executive. They, yeah, right. Yeah. You didn't. Yeah. But the the importance of because he is what the bottom and, line is. And I think in relationships, we have to be in a situation where we boil it down and we understand the bottom line. If you're in a situation and you are not happy, right, and you continue biting your tongue, it will not change. I promise you, it will only get worse. If she's not fucking you, if she's not, if he's cheating on you, if she's being verbally abusive, if he's being verbally abusive, if she's being verbally, physically abusive or anywhere between them, you let people get away with it. They never go to the point where they go, hey, this I've really been a fucked up person. I'm going to be a better person. People take it. It's the people's nature to when they get away with something to continue to keep getting away with it. And unfortunately, this, you know, my middle name is Karma because I'm mm. not I know it. I've never I, mm. I literally have to say, because if I use if I check somebody. And their intention is not that they usually apologize. Yeah. But if you don't actually you know what? You don't actually have to check anybody because your step. You're also several steps before it needs to be checked. Mo most of the time, you know, when somebody is being somebody makes a mistake, yeah. it's almost a halfway. You allow somebody some leeway to correct their mistake. But right? most people on the outside don't think I give no leeway. Mm, they, everybody true. thinks I'm jumping out the window. Everybody thinks I'm going too far. I'm not going too far. I just know, like, I've seen this so many times. Yeah. That it, it's like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been at the same club where somebody's heckling and the person keeps talking. And then I come in the door and they go, oh, Dante, the lady in the front keeps talking. Like, OK, so now I'm the police guy. Now I got to sacrifice my. But what I am doing, what I'm not going to do is, I mean, if they're disrespecting you, well, that's not even true because I don't even let it go when it's somebody else. It's like when no, that you guy don't Liam like, was like, you don't like he was like, oh, oh no. I don't mind if you talk to my. No, no, you're not doing that either. You're not being disrespectful to him or nobody. You're fucking nobody. I don't. I, well, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't want I don't. I mean, I don't I don't have a problem with you. No, I don't like you. Everything that you stand for, you suck. Fuck you. And then because people would rather not, they would rather it not be comfortable. Then, uh, the, oh, come on. I've had this too. Oh, come on. It's not. Eh. I've had like, where, like I've had that where girls will tackle and talk and stuff. And I go, this is, you're not, I have told a girl, you, you're really not attractive enough to be that much of a cunt. <laughs> And, the, and her yeah. girl, oh, no, what? but you know, oh, don't say no. You, you shut the fuck up. I mean, because you didn't when she was being disrespectful from the I think stage. Was, you've done that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, the girl was like she was talking and saying shit. And I go, you're not that you're not attractive enough to be as much of a cunt you are. And she, she goes, uh, no. Uh, so she goes here, here, do a shot. And they start chanting shot, shot, like they're going to peer pressure me. No, I go, I'm not drinking from you. I don't know where the fuck your mouth been. I don't know how many dicks you suck. Like, I, what, why? Oh, come on. So now I'm the passive aggressive. I'm the asshole. They because, try to turn it on you. Yeah. Which is and another I'm like, technique they try to. But yeah. I will blow it all. I will blow the whole thing. Every we all fuck you. Mind your fucking bit. My because what happens is now because if but you got to really be rooted in yourself and the only way you could be rooted in yourself be, be confident about the position is that you always have to take the righteous position oh not even some of the time you got to take the righteous position i um oh i didn't tell you this I, you know i did tell you i um uh, so, so, I mean, that was that. And it's like, and even Harry absolutely was like, I, 
I learned yeah. my lesson. And um, but I mean, you yeah. also haven't had experiences like that a lot. It hasn't and, happened and, often where it's been to that level. But that's the experience. That's the going forward. You go. Usually I'm able to kind of get them with laughs and shit and get the audience. But this is a different circumstance. And I learned from that because immediately I was like, I did. Yeah, I needed to go in on him harder, you know, and there was a slight hesitation. And again, it was fine. The audience to the audience. I had a great set. They liked it a lot. I got compliments, whatever. But that's not to me. It's like "Mm, I didn't like the I didn't like that. I don't like that dude. And then, yeah, I don't like. So I'm also. I would I feel better if I blow it up and the show is shit and I handled this dude than to yeah. eke my way out, like squeeze out a a, a, a a draw with a motherfucker who's not even doesn't even respect me or doesn't respect sure, what yeah, I yeah. do. Yeah. You know, um, I was thinking of the show as a whole. However, the show, uh, what I needed to do was go in on him to save the show as a whole. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I had to do. But and that's yeah. the thing. And your and your empathy was, you know, I don't want to fuck it up for anybody, but you but it's really recognizing that oh, you didn't do anything. You you showed up early, you that's came true, with yeah. your material without ready. Doubt. Without a doubt. You were ready to entertain people and this fucking idiot. And then you have to compromise yourself for some drunk piece of shit who doesn't give a fuck about anybody who's selfish about everything. And you don't want to, and, 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 and you're giving him the benefit of the doubt when in a real sense, he doesn't deserve without a doubt. All he does, all he deserves is a punch in the fucking mouth. Yeah. Cause that's where he's at. This is where you guys got to come out to see more live shows when we're on them. (laughs) This is the uh, interactive experience that you get to see. Uh, I don't know when we'll get the video. It would be good to post the it'll video. It'll be better. I'll have it this week. I'll post it. Yeah, let me know because I want to. Yeah, I want to put, put it together with this, maybe, so people can see. Because I have my video of it, of my yeah. thing. So it'll be fun to see. And my boy, my boy that I, you know, he's seen me, you know, rock and roll a couple of times. He yeah. was like, he just was like, oh, all right, yeah. I guess, I guess we gotta get re- we gotta get ready. And even Harry. I I guess. But Harry's so numb to it. He's kind of like, all right, this is happening. Well, I had to teach my girl a lesson that night, too, about something where I which was what? Well, she was like all worried about it. I go, I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm just here in case somebody does something stupid. Right. I go. I gave her my stuff. I took off my glasses, my watch. I put it all in my jacket pocket. I just hand her the jacket and I go, listen, (laughs) I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Whatever goes down, if anything goes down, your only job is to run to the car, get in the car, and I will meet you at the car. Yeah. That's it. And I had to like break that. She's like, oh, and I had to. And she didn't live up to that portion of it. She didn't have to. Right. But she was a little bit like nervous. And I had Babe, to like, but no, but no. I had to reiterate after the fact that is your only job. And she understood afterwards. She got it. I go, that is your only job when I hand you all my stuff. Yeah to go to the car if I didn't even get to have it running, but we'll get to that point at some mm-hmm. other point. But that's, you know, I had to teach her that lesson because yeah. I was and I don't I'm not a, I'm not I don't pretend to be a tough guy. But if shit goes down, I'm I'm going to defend myself and my I friends and also any any buddy. I don't want to sucker punch in a waitress or something. Yeah, I can't, do I can't that, do too, because he yeah. can take advantage. Of, that's why I walked I him out the I door. Don't pretend to be a tough guy. either. I'm just ready for the smoke. I just right, right. don't feel I should. I don't feel like somebody should be able to be yeah. disrespectful to me and to other people simply because they think they can get away no, with without it. A doubt. Man, yeah. I just don't think that that's that's fair and it's and it's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we, so, we do have some listener mail that we want to, if we want to get to it here. Yeah. Well, I, 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 get, I got it. Uh, but you have something more this, you want to do? Yeah. All right. Let's so th- this week you I might went have to, to postpone listener mail. Sorry. Well, guys. Well, th- this week I went, my, my cousin, anybody in Brooklyn, my cousin has a spa on Nostra Avenue. I think it's called El Elite Medi Spa. And what she does is, so I was b- feeling run down. She does, I don't know if you ever heard of this, Harry, the um, intravenous vitamins. Intravenously, I mean, you're in, you're uh, so they uh, put their vitamins and everything in, in a, a fluid intra- bag or something. In a or fluid a bag, you go in and they. They plug it in and it goes right into your blood system. 
Okay, interesting here. Uh, so my, my cousin Racina, she has two spas. It's El Elite Medi Spa, right? I went and afterwards, afterwards, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing around like I'm bouncing off, not bouncing off the wall, but I got so much energy because all the vitamins are like straight into the bloodstream. I'm not losing nothing. Right. I'm still buzzing around two days later. Uh, so this is this is another thing about credibility. Um, boom. Um, I, this is a cousin that I don't I'm not, I don't frequent with. And um, if y'all want to check me out, I do radio. I do serious radio every Friday on uh, Urban View 126. You can listen to me talk shit and be funny there and whatever. And there's and there's a whole uh, the, the motto of the show is healthy, wealthy, wise. It's Karen Hunter show from three to six on uh, on on every Friday, um, not this Friday, but the next Friday and whatever. Um, so I go get the bag and I go get the, the intravenous bag and I realize I don't really. So people, don't, Harry knows this, but I don't really fuck with my family a lot because. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Because they don't deserve the same, to be fucked with no more. And they also would probably be the guy heckling me and heckling everybody. They're that, you know, hmm. take advantage, overstep boundaries, whatever. So when I meet my cousin, she's so much like me. She always wants to help people. She wants to make people. One of the reasons she couldn't open the spa anyway, but she ended up opening the spa in the hood because she's trying to give poor people a different perspective on uh, on on everything. Uh, she's trying to give. Uh, she's trying to bring these healthy choices and options to yes. the poor communities, which don't always have access to it. They're always which the last. Never ones to have get it. To it. Yeah. they never have it. Yeah. in fact, yeah, yeah. So. I, I it was such a good kind of re meeting to her with her that I um I I I really want to get her I, I feel like more people should know about her is why I'm plugging her now um and I'm plugging her thing because I I and it made me feel good and I want people around me to feel good I mean Harry I think you should do it too but we'll we'll get you a discount or whatever all right whatever. let's figure it out. So all about um, that healthy lifestyle shit. We do it, bro. I'm trying to live. I'm trying. Yeah. To, I got another life. I want one more life out of it. You got more right? people to knock out at comedy shows. Listen, and more gotta, people to help. And more yeah. people to help. Oh, yeah, that too. That too. That too. Shout out to my boy Major. Major, they came out. I'm trying to. Help oh yeah, thing. Major came out, and we did. <laughs> we stuck around after the show for like another so, almost two hour hours. Half. Yeah, it's almost two of, hours of just a fucking in person. Consultation, uh, consultation, double consultation, double right? consultation. So, um, my my sister calls me and she goes, um, she goes, oh, did you go? How was it? And then my sister says, how much did she charge you? It's a weird question, right? It's a very I leading just, question that you yeah. already know your sister enough to know, or you don't and, even need to know your sister. You can read toxic language. Why? Why? So I t so what happened was I tried to pay, but because she was my cousin, she she was like, no, I really appreciate you. And I'm trying to get her on serious radio so she can meet a, a wider scope of people so she can make more people healthy. And I think she could feel that from me as well. And so she ended up not charging me at all. Right. Um. So. My sister says. I, we didn't even talk about this, did we, Harry? No, this is the no, first I'm hearing of it. Okay, so this is the, this this is is the fresh so one. She, Usually we do this over yeah, the phone. Yeah. She goes, um, make sure. So Karen Hunter runs the station. She runs a whole station. It's one of the biggest stations on, on Urban uh, View. Urban View only on, on, on Sirius XM. Yeah. And she, my sister says, uh, I was like, I really want to get her on, 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 to, so she could be Karen Hunter people. show. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my sister says, don't tell her she's your cousin. So the first thing was, how much did you pay? Right. The second thing was, don't tell her she's your cousin. And so I, being nosy, she texted me this. Being nosy yeah. and then second telling you how to run your business. And how, how to, to your control. Business. She also yeah. said while I was getting it, make sure you Instagram it and, and post it, she says. Which is interesting because my sister has uh, 
zero followers on Instagram. She's just like a voyeur on Instagram. So, man, and, I, and it hit me so hard because I read toxic speak. That's a great mm-hmm. terminology. Got to give you props for that. Yeah. You know, the toxic language or the toxic code. You can tell and she texts me. Don't tell her you she's your cousin as if I, I want to get her on, but I need to strategize how to get her on. And if she knows that she's my cousin, maybe she won't put her on. But the reason why people fuck with me in the first place is because I'm honest, because I tell the truth, because I maintain my credibility and because I have empathy. And this lady who does Urban View trusts me. She thinks I'm funny. She thinks I'm talented. And she puts me on because she trusts me. Right. So I text my sister. um, I have to tell her because I don't lie. Right. Mm. She doesn't respond to it. Right. She doesn't respond to it at all. And, and I was thinking to myself that the insecurity of not telling the truth comes from wanting to get something that you don't think Think you deserve that you're worthy of. Yeah. That's why it's don't, don't tell your cousin because that's, it's not going to work. Just you're trying to be sneaky because you don't think you're worthy of going through the front door. And the reality is the only reason why I, why this woman would trust me in the first place is because I am honest and I don't lie. Like I'm in the position I am because of my credibility. And I say this all the time, there's people, there's comics and people that make more money than me. There's people that have bigger houses, but like I've said this a hundred times, nobody like is no shitting in my bed, like fucking Johnny Depp. So I'd rather not have Johnny Depp's money if I have somebody that who lives with me who's so disrespectful that they'll shit in my bed, right? Or 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 make me, you know, look at me crazy so I could smack Chris Rock. And these people are filthy rich. And and Harry and I both know people very successful comics mm. who are miserable because they don't maintain the credibility and they never have the self-esteem that they should have because they're liars. And because and I don't mean liars mm-hmm. necessarily mil- maliciously, but liars because they don't think well, that they're they worthy in the first place. themselves. They've never addressed any of the problems they did. Sometimes people think that money are, is going to fix all your problems and it doesn't fix any of your problems. It doesn't it really you're supposed to address I mean, you the won't emotional be hungry. issues. You won't be hungry and you maybe have a bunch of cars. But yeah, I mean, you won't be cars. starving. But yeah, the, the only thing is that you won't be you won't be starving. But it it, it comes with a you whole won't thing. be happy. You won't, you won't be, happy. be happy. It doesn't guarantee happiness by any means. You still have to work on that regardless. And so I I called up Karen Hunter, who's a friend of mine, who I respect and she respects me. And I and I told her about my I said, look, I'm my cousin. She's really into health and wellness. Her spa is L Elite Medi Spa. I'm probably good again because she's dope. And um, and I go, but my sister told me not to tell you she was my cousin. And I was more and I wasn't doing it to get points, but I because we're friends. And you know what she said? She said, I would put her on my show because she's your cousin. Like, mm. if you just ask me to do a favor, like you've been so honest and so straight up with me. She goes, look, if she don't, if she's full of shit and she don't have the chops and we and, and she's not who she says he is, I will know that, too. And then we'll never have her on again. But if she is what you say she is, then she's a benefit to me. And it, 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 it made me think how important it is to tell the truth, how, how important it is that our perception of what our value is, is so fucked up. And because our perception is so fucked up, we do things that we shouldn't do that ultimately reveal to everybody else that we don't have the value that we think we have. And, and it was really telltale because, I mean, I, I, I love my sister. I don't say that a lot, but I was like, what, how horrible must it be to work up, wake up every day and think that you have to connive and, and plot 
and figure out a way around other than just being yourself. So that's my. Uh, there you go. A lesson do the right learned. thing. Do the right, do the right thing. thing. Be righteous and be honest Tell the entire the truth. time. Be credible. Give a, put your happiness first. If your co- coffee cup is not full, you can't even pour something, pour some in somebody else's cup. Your coffee cup needs to be overflowing. So you have to put yourself first so that so that you're not lacking when you give of other people, when you give to other people. And that that was my thing. And it was just a really kind of just it, I mean, I was really hurt because I was like, how fucked up is it? That the only way you think you can move forward is by being deceitful or or, or even lying by omission. Yeah, Same thing. it's an attempt to be deceitful. It's yeah. willful. It's willful deceit. Um, and that's so, and it's a shit situation to be in. That's a shit feeling to for somebody. Really to have. fucked me up. Yeah. Really fucked me up. We got to do this Patreon thing. But um, Harry, yeah. talk to me real quick. Hey, everybody. Yeah, we're going over to Patreon to do listener mail. Uh, we're going to answer questions from listeners on Patreon. And uh, we do all our bonus content over at Patreon. Come over and support us because it helps keep the show going. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. And we also do relationship consultations. Uh, you can reach me at uh, via email uh, advice from Harry at gmail.com if you like doing consultations and uh, you know uh, if you want help with your uh, relationship your relationship sex advice dating tips anything about life uh, I'm there for you Dante how can they get your consultations you just look on my page right now on my background it says for consultations called Dante never.com you can just click on consult and you can you can get me right on there the prices and everything is on that. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Don't forget to follow the Patreon. I mean, I get uh, I get at least 10 DMs a week talking about the content has changed their life. And if the content changes your life, um, help us out, man. Sign up for the Patreon and, and help us to keep giving you this wisdom and this, this uh, help in their life. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution would be a podcast. We are out. We're going to head over to Patreon. Peace. <laughs>